It's a sprawling complex of provincial office space known as the McDonald Block, built in 1971. It's home to about 3,600 government employees. According to Infrastructure Ontario, the building's core systems need to be replaced and a reconstruction project is set to begin. Now, the price tag for the construction has yet to be made public. The way source tells City News that the number set to be released in the days to head is nearly $1 billion. We're modernizing. We're going to make this a safe, efficient and affordable building for people to work in. Affordability isn't always the word associated with spending nearly $1 billion, though that's one of the words Ontario's Minister of Government and Consumer Services chose today while justifying the price tag set to be announced. In fairness, the Conservative government inherited the project from the previous provincial Liberal government. Infrastructure Ontario is overseeing the bidding process. On their website, they say electrical, water, cooling and heating systems need to be replaced. It's an extensive reconstruction of the four office towers that make up the McDonald Block complex off Bay Street. Today, Conservative Minister Bill Walker said the project is moving ahead. As I said, this building has not been updated since 1971, so it's, it's going to be an efficiency improvements, it's going to be safety improvements, and it's, it, our staff deserve, and the people visiting our building, uh, deserve to be in a safe environment. Initial capital estimates for the project, according to multiple industry databases, pegged the construction at around $500 million. City News has learned that is now doubled, though the nearly billion-dollar price tag doesn't include the cost of relocating 3,600 provincial employees to three different buildings for at least the next eight years while the work is being completed. We asked the minister's office how much that was going to cost taxpayers. They didn't have an answer for us by our deadline. But the opposition was quick to point out that there's a nearly $4 billion repair backlog for schools in Toronto alone. That number increases to $16 billion province-wide. What do you say to people who say, you know, nearly a billion dollars on just the construction of a government building when we have schools, when we have hospitals and states of disrepair? People will always respect that everyone deserves a safe environment to work in. Uh, had this been done 20 years ago, we wouldn't be in this predicament right now. So it's, again, government's putting things off. Is the Liberal government a little bit responsible for this, this massive well, bill? That's there's, there's no question. What I'm saying is myself, stance, I think if we're going to invest money and you need it in hospitals and schools, that's what comes first. To, to just simply take what the Liberals have given in terms of a, a process and a final outcome of a tendering, um, it seems to me that they should actually sharpen their pencils, have a look at that, at that contract and see whether some of that billion dollars can be used for kids' schools, for example. City News has learned that just two companies bid on the job, Construction Behemoths, Ellis Don and PCL. The Conservatives say since they've taken over the McDonald Block file, They've shaved $600 million in potential costs, but that doesn't appear to include savings on the final price tag for construction. Today's modern, a, a lot of staff, again, are more mobile, so they have workstations. We've been able to shrink the size of that workspace, again, within a standard that's acceptable. According to Infrastructure Ontario, the buildings have some heritage significance. We asked them what that means for the reconstruction and the price tag. They didn't answer our question. One industry source I spoke with argues that it would be far more efficient to simply knock these buildings down and build something new.